Alright guys, welcome back to Your Turn to Die. I have my support person here with me again off camera in case I get especially anxious because I think we're finally at the main game. So let's get into it. Sarah, Reko, heard you found now. You did good, thanks. I am sorry for worrying you. Don't sweat it, especially because you're safe. But now, we're your buds, right? Don't take off anymore, okay? But buds? You don't want to be? If my makeup's scary, I can take it off. Th that's not it. I'm very happy. Alright. There's a locked black door on the left side. A doorknob with a dial to enter a number on it. Ooh, I know a number. Uh, that box thing said... 380 is in black and 612 is in white. So I'm gonna guess 380 is the black door. White door open. Okay, I can go either way. So let's go to the black room. I open that one first. A large blackboard with nothing written. An electric paper shredder. It's a machine. Yeah, I know it's for shredding paper. What about it, Sarah? You see anything of interest? This. Huh? Just garbage. Probably just a waste of time to check it all, huh? Hmm. Recreating the documents from all this paper would be very time consuming. I'll try searching it, meow. Gein! Haha, <laughs> Gein seems all fired up. I'll watch him till he's done. Alright, let's go in the white room. Ooh, okay. There's a handcuff at the end of a chain. I wonder what this is. Plus, the air in this room feels heavy. Well, this place is no good. How do you mean that? Hmm. I can sense a bad feeling somehow, so please tell me. I'm betting somebody died here. Oh, creepy music. I can faintly smell blood. Ah, uh, and since there's dust, it was wiped a little while ago. I'd put the time around, yeah, maybe the first trial. Once I became cognizant of it, I understand. The unremovable raw stench of blood. The air that repulsed my instincts. It's disgusting, I want to throw up. Oh. Don't imagine it. Feeling your limits, Sarah? KG. I'll check every inch of this room. You get out, Sarah. But I'm saying trust in your friendly policeman. If you're a policeman. With a gentle push on the back, I proceed to exit out of the room. Ooh, so. Hey, Miss Sarah. So, and... Aren't you tired? It's not good to work too hard. You should take some time to rest. Hmm. I'm still too energetic. I can't rest, not while everyone else is working hard. I'd say rest is a valuable option in its own right. Still, you never know who will come attacking you. Sketchy. So I know how you feel, Miss Sarah. Miss Sarah, I don't think you should go to the first floor on your own. But... Er, hey. Joe's your best friend, right? Eh? Joe is my best friend. Yes, he can be a bit stupid in ways, but he's really a good guy. Uh-huh. Miss Sarah, you trust Joe then. So what about Joe? Miss Sarah, so came very close to me and spoke in a whisper. Do you remember that vote? Uh, I had nearly forgotten. No, I've been trying to forget it. The second trial, the vote in which Professor Mishima died. Excluding my own vote, Mishima got three votes. So and now got zero votes, and everyone else got one vote each. But of course, we thought that choice held no meaning. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I voted for So. And he had no votes against him. It's a lie. You see, I voted for Joe. Do you know what that means? 
Sorry, that must have bewildered you. We'll be going now. Catch you later. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, did Joe get... I'm confused now. Joe didn't vote for himself? Okay, wait, no, it said so had no votes. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, Joe's staring at something in his hand. I should talk to him. I trust him. What's the matter, Joe? Wah, Sarah, you startled me. What are you looking at? This was inside my pocket. It's... It was a photo of me, Joe, and Ryoko. We were at a cafe having a fun chat together. Oh, Do you miss Ryoko? Yeah. Man, I miss her. Sure enough, it's unthinkable for me to suspect Joe. Are they trying to turn me against Joe? So he must just be seeing shadows where there aren't any. Suddenly, I thought back. Joe got involved in this because he came to my house. If he'd gone straight home, wouldn't he be living life as normal right now? How late a realization is that? I was so focused on myself. I didn't consider Joe's perspective for a second. I had my first proper date with Ryoko that day. <laughs> I was so nervous I couldn't talk at all. Somehow we ended up talking about you, Sarah. Eh? Do you remember that time you tried to sit on a traffic cone and fell on your butt? I couldn't stop laughing. What? You promised you wouldn't tell anyone. Haha, -ha, it sure got the conversation lively. So then I sort of asked her why she decided to go out with me. Huh? What do you mean, why? I mean, if you didn't know me that much, yeah. Aha, uh -huh, really? Well, no friend of Sarah's could be a bad person, you know? Haha, <laughs> ha, funny, right? Because I was thinking the same thing. Joe, Ryoko and me made an agreement. If anyone makes Sarah cry, we'll make them cry. So, like, stop looking like you're on the verge of tears. I mean, Joe, you're... If I make you cry, Sarah, that means Ryoko's gonna sock me, right? Hehehe. <laughs> you're right, Joe. I'd better have you protect me. Yeah, whenever I see a traffic cone, I'll exterminate it. Erase that from your memory, I mean it. I love Joe. I don't think Joe's gonna make it. I'm scared, I don't think he's gonna- Oh, scary guy! Ahem, Sarah Chidoan. There was noise on the second floor, what happened? Huh? Um, I'll go look. I'll go look, Gonbe, you- Hmm, I'll remain here. I'll leave him alone. Oh, it opened! The red room is open and shines a bright white light. The counter above the door is zero. Don't tell me the people on the second floor went in here. I guess we're gonna take a look. It'd be dangerous to enter, I'll just take a peek. I carefully stuck my head into the room. And then, someone shoved me from behind. What? With that, I lost consciousness. Huh? An extravagant feast. Miley is pictured on the screen. Eehehe, <laughs> everyone, how are you feeling? Miley! Where are the others? This is a pre-recorded video, so I'm afraid I can't answer any questions. Allow me to thank you truly for taking part in the main game. Main game? This is the waiting room prepared for participants. The Last Supper Room. You may fill yourself with food before the game, or form a strategy. Use it however you please. What was she saying? Those who successfully beat the main game can proceed to the next floor. Hooray! Note that those who do not exit their waiting rooms once the main game starts will die as a penalty. Do keep that in mind, ehehe. <laughs> the next floor? I will now explain the rules of the main game. Everyone please take the card you obtained while exploring and touch it to this screen card. You have your card, yes, now I will begin to explain. The basic rules are profoundly simple. One person will be selected by majority vote, and that person will die, that is all. What are you calling simple? The vote will be split into two parts. Through the first round, the preliminary vote, half of the total will be chosen as candidates. Currently 11 are alive, so that will be 5. 
The final vote will be held using these, deciding the ultimate victim. In short, the victim is decided by gradually narrowing it down from 11 people to 5 to 1. Of course, even those not chosen as candidates will participate in the vote itself. Please do kill of your own volitions. Stop it! Stop this! However, there are holes in this game. We do not care for intentless game of luck. Such worthless acts as using rock, paper, scissors to fairly decide the victim are forbidden. And so, everyone, please take out your cards. Cards? There are four roles given by the cards. The first is the commoner. This is a meaningless card with no power at all. The second is the key master. Oh my, it's Ooh. a terrifying role indeed. For if chosen as the victim, everyone will perish. Key master, that's my card. Third is the sage. By holy divination, they know who the key master is. A very lucky roll. Congratulations to its owner. Fourth is the sacrifice. Amazingly, this curious card allows the person to survive only if chosen as the victim. So, wait, they have to be chosen to live? So they would die anyway. What? Which means if they're not chosen, they die. However, there are positives as well. The sacrifice alone gets two votes. And also, if they win, they can escape alive with a person of their choice. Well, but in that case, all the others will perish. So good luck. So it sucks to be the sacrifice, because if you get chosen, you and one person get to leave. And then if you aren't chosen, you die. But if you do get chosen, you're literally killing everyone else? Dude, that sucks. There is one key master, sage, and sacrifice each. All the rest are commoners. Committed to memory, yes? Uh, hold on. Does this mean, could it be, so at minimum, two people will die? Everyone, do your best not to be one of them. Minimum, two people die. I felt like I heard something at that moment. A loud sound of someone fainting in the room over. This is, there is still time until the main game begins. Please spend your time freely here. It's now time. Please head to the grounds via the door near the screen, everyone. I wish you luck. Ee hee hee. Ah ha ha ha. In front of me were strange desks about waist height. Here we are. KG. You guys, that was fast. Ugh. Hmm, all of you so pale. Oh no. Why is this happening? A desperate game is beginning, and yet we just have to play it. Ee hee hee. Ah, so you'll take part after all? Miley, you. Ah, uh, please take a good look at those desks, everyone. A rather interesting setup, isn't it? They are reverse hourglasses. Most curious indeed. When these hourglasses have all reached the top, the discussion will end. You have 70 minutes of this preliminary vote. After that, you can discuss for 20 minutes of the final vote. Well then, shall the discussion begin? Hold up, Kana. Kana ain't here. Oh dear. So some would choose not to take part in something so enjoyable? But hold on, Kana will definitely come. Time is limited. This is what she chose, and that is the end of the matter. Miss Sarah... We haven't made the wrong choice, have you? Did I make the wrong choice somewhere? No, you made the wrong choice. Did I make choice. the wrong choice? Well then, let us start the main game. Everyone, stand at whichever desk you like. Now then, you seem to be prepared. Let the main game begin. Please, wait! Uh, um, I'm also... Kana! You are welcome, Kana Kazuchi. Regrets can wait until after taking part. Ihihi. <laughs> Aha, let this wonderful, wonderful main game begin. Ah, yes, I have left rule books on the desks. Please make use of items, them as items, everyone. That is all. Ehehe, <laughs> use your time however you please. Miley quietly sits down in a chair. And in dead silence, the main game began. I've already settled on my pick. Huh? Curse me if you wanna, I... Gone Bay, I'm voting for you. What about it? Say what? 
Wah, do what you like. Dummy, what are you talking about? That means you'll die. You're the fools, just think for a second. How do you mean that? This vote shouldn't be focused on one point. Indeed, this is the preliminary vote. If we were to unanimously vote Mr. Gonbe, Gonbe would be our only choice for the final vote. Oh man, and if Gonbe is the sacrifice or the key master, we're all done for. It's not as if we freely choose which roll cards we got, right? We were guided into picking them up. There is a possibility that the kidnappers granted the least trustworthy Mr. Gonbe a special role for their own amusement. And now the chaos ensues. I'll watch closely as you all flail about. Dang it. Whew, this game is even more malicious than I thought. If we want to survive, we need to assemble as close to five candidates as we can. We gotta suspect five people? This is the worst. Sarah Chidoan, I will vote for you. Have you anything to say back? Eh? Hold on, Sarah's like our leader. What's your base? Haha, <laughs> then why don't we discuss whether her actions are suspicious or not? I find it suspicious from the word go how a mere high school girl became a leader. Sarah almost always acted with others. She couldn't do anything suspicious, right? Doubting the others is one thing, but doubting Sarah, you're awful. Sarah, talk back to him. Gonbei's just got the wrong idea about you. Huh, you sure have a lot of friends. Have at you, Sarah Chidoan. Oh, I think I finally figured it out. Take a look at this, please. Hmm? Huh? This box was in the kitchen. It says, use as you wish, yet there was nothing inside to use. What of it? All that's left is an impression, an impression made by a kitchen knife. What? A kitchen knife? Yep. By the time Sarah checked it, it was gone. Somebody probably went and took it. The kitchen was locked the whole time, and Miss Sarah rarely acted alone, so surely she could not have taken it. How are you staying so calm? Like, who was it? Who took the knife? Who did take the knife? That's a very important question. Yes, knowing that is key. Who in the world could it be? Hold up, Sarah. Is all that more important than clearing your name right now? She has a point. Who did take the knife? I guess that's not relevant. There's no need to prove everything. That's not relevant right now. How could it not be? The point I'm making is that I don't have control of all the weapons. So I didn't earn this trust by force. Ugh. That's right. I can't fall into my opponent's trap. Sheesh, look at you, feeling all pleased. Hmm. <laughs> Very well, I'll speak no more. You trusting fools can just suspect one another. I've resolved on an answer. In all our searching and discussions, who were the biggest burdens and the most weak? Kana, Gein, and No. I'm talking about you three. You couldn't. Are you kidding me? You think you ain't gonna get picked because you've got strength? Then go ahead and vote for me. What? Vote for what your will tells you. If you think I'm useless, then take responsibility and kill me, Reko. This is intense. That's what I mean by resolve. Now, Kana, Gein, tell him, use your words to prove your worth. Uh, I, I, I searched as best I could and I found things, lots of things. Kana, Kana. Gein, if you don't talk, it's over. Don't tell me none of y'all are thinking you'd be fine dying, right? Looks bad, Sarah. Kutaro is serious. What should I do? Draw it out of them. There's something only you can do. Only I can? Why does So keep looking at Kana? What's the matter, Kana? Are you afraid? No. Kana. Kana. Kana doesn't care what happens anymore. K Kana? Even if she's chosen, it's fine. Kana doesn't really mind if she's picked. What? She's had enough. Kana just... Kana wants to go to her sister. Kana, don't be ridiculous. I'm just tired. You gotta be kidding. You really want to die without a peep? Please wait. 
Miss Kana, are you serious or is this an act? Kana won't say anything else. Please do what you want. This is troubling. Miss Kana may have drawn the sacrifice card. Oh. What does that mean? It means that if she gets chosen, she gets to live and take someone with her. Which I think is why So keeps looking at her. Because he, I think, knows she has it. Okay. So listen. When So was passed out, I saw a sacrifice card under the table. And then he popped up out of nowhere and scared the heck out of me. And was like, what you looking at, Sarah? And I told him nothing. And it was a sacrifice card. But that would mean that So has it. Not Kana. But Kana's acting like she has it. I don't know what's going on. I honestly don't know. Oh well. Sacrifice. The sacrifice must be chosen to survive. Thus, they would put on a one-man show. Yet, she's got enough motive that we could believe she actually wants to die. Th then no picking her for now, right? Not participating in discussion so as to earn herself votes? I can't imagine Kana playing those sort of mind games. She's literally like a middle school student. Unless someone suggested it to games. her. She's been hanging out with So a lot, and we know So is creepy and sketch. Everyone, let's just put the subject of Kana aside for now. She's gonna save you, isn't she? I bet you she's the sacrifice, or he's the I don't know. I don't know. Can't know her true intent after all. First, why don't we hear from Gein and Miss Now too, and then make our decision. So, are you protecting Kana? Is it just me or are you protecting Kana? I, I can't afford to do that. I just don't want to waste our time. Don't want to be scrambling before the vote, right? That's true. Thank you, Miss Sarah. Oh, that's right. There's something I should take this opportunity to tell everyone. You see, I'm the key master. Liar. Liar, liar, liar. Huh? I was unsure whether I should keep quiet, but I want to avoid all of us dying, so... Besides, if the key master doesn't manage things, they'll just turn into a mess. What is so saying? The key master is me. Really? That's the truth, ain't it? I'm pretty sure if I tell them I'm the key master, I die. I think my card said that. Like, if I tell them I'm the key master, Try I die. It. It's the only way to know. I don't think I can, though. Okay. If nobody else is going to name themselves, then yeah, I'll believe it. I mean, I can tell... Th I can tell them, but I might get a game over. Can I save real quick? Wait, please. I'm the key master. What do you say? There's two key masters? Huh? You startled me, Miss Sarah. That's my line, so. According to Miley's explanation, there's only one key master. I didn't imagine you'd tell a lie like this. What's going on now? Is one of you two lying? Why? That makes no dang sense. Well, whatever. Let's advance the discussion instead of fighting about it. For now, Gein, could we get some proper statements from you? Meow. Yeah, that's right. Gein, be a man. Tell them what you gotta say. Gein's frightened, and it's your, you crude butt men to blame. We've got no time. Gein, prove that you've been useful to everybody. Gein, show it to them. The amazing thing you found searching the second floor room. Amazing thing? I don't know anything about that, Meow. W what'd you say? Reko. You got a fine attitude, but see here. It ain't right to go and spout lies to protect people, all right? Ugh. No, I tell you, I'm not lying. Somebody's got to die in this place, in his place. Maybe it'll be you. Hold the heck up. Woof, big sis Reco. We need to spurge in. Um, instigate him. You see, Gein, Reco's being called a liar for speaking up for you. Don't you feel bad? I do, I do, meow, but, but... What a cowardly kid. You call yourself a He never called himself a man. Uh, sniffle. I didn't want to show that thing and make everyone worry, meow. Make us worry? Are you defending someone? Keen, are you trying to protect someone? Ah, how did you know, Wolf? I thought so. 
I believe you, Gain. Whatever strange thing you present, I'll handle it. Okay, Meow. Seeing Big Sis Reco get yelled at by the muscle gorilla really ticked me off, Meow. Just so you know, I take gorilla as a compliment. Woof, I believe you too, Big Sis Sarah. Yeah. So, I was trying to put together the paper scraps from the shredder thingy on the second floor, Meow. But then, woof, taking a look in there, I noticed some hand-torn paper too, Meow. And there was, woof, it said... That Big Sis Sarah was a murderer? Huh? What? What are you on about? Cutero, please don't shout. But what's the meaning of this? I need to get more details. What is it, Meow? Take a look at this. It's a piece of paper I picked up. My, my, wow. This looks just like the one you have, right? This is Gein's. Similar. Woof. Totally the same. Wait a minute. So, KG, it says detective, right? But this is the wrong paper. If you notice, the fact that Cutro is listed as a high school teacher is weird, too. Look at this. If you remove the left half and connect it to the piece I have, Meet Meow? They're connected, woof. So, Megumi is a detective. And then there's Mishima, it says high school teacher. So, the cop is not a cop, I don't think. Mm -hmm. The tear matches up perfectly. Why is that? They were torn in a stack. That's it. Multiple sheets were torn all at once. If you took these sheets and stacked them like this and then tore it, they would produce these results. Is that like their chance of survival? There's like percentages. There were at least two of these sheets stacked together. Is that it, Wolf? Since they fit together so cleanly, of course misunderstandings could happen. Yay, thank goodness, Meow. But, you know, where are these sheets in the first place? They are creepy, aren't they? The professor's name is on here, and even some people I don't know. And whatever could the percentages on the side be? Oh, yeah, even friendly neighborhood cop here is like, ooh, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I've proved I was useful for exploring, Meow. And now I'm glad Big Sis Sarah wasn't a murderer after all. Eh? Who is the murderer, Meow? As far as this shows, that would be Alice Yabusame. Yabusame. That sounds kind of familiar, Meow. There's only one person here with the last name Yabusame. Please identify them. That's Reko, isn't it? Yeah. Reko, as I recall, you're Reko Yabusame, aren't you? Ugh. Yeah, I'm Reko Yabusame. And so what? J just coincidence, right? I don't know anybody with that name. Uh-huh. Sarah, what do you think? Do we think the rocker chick's a murderer? Yeah. Okay, we think she's a murderer. Reko might be an alias. Hold on a sec. In the bar on the blackboard, I saw a list of people who could drink and who couldn't. And it said both Reko and Alice. Oh, Joe's smarter than me. Or you. Mm -hmm. um, come to think of it, while I was searching, I found some chalk on the floor. So it's not impossible it was changed. You got it wrong. It's not me. Besides, handwritten pieces of paper, anybody could make those, right? If they have a pen, sure. Ugh. Big sis Reko can't be a murderer, woof. Then, should we call it a relative's name? I, I remembered, my, my brother, it's my brother's name. Alice is your brother, not your sister. Even your excuses are becoming illogical. It ain't an excuse. Reko, tell the truth. Believe me, I'm, I mean, I, Reko, Sarah, help me. Should I tell her the paper's bogus or say nothing? 
because she's clearly lying about something. Sarah. Dang it, I, I. Wait. It's me. I'm Alice. Okay, Gonbe? Your name's Alice? Huh? I'm Alice. I'm telling you, Reko did nothing wrong. It's a misunderstanding. Listen, we're in the middle of a serious discussion right now. And I'm being serious too. Reko, Reko is my little sister. You for real? Couldn't hide it, huh? This guy's real name is Alice Yusum. You, ugh. Yabusame. He's my older brother. Then the murderer is me. I lied about being a thief. I went to prison for killing someone. Isn't this guy some serious bad news? Yes, that's right. Indeed, I am a dang criminal. And Reko caught me off as well, saying she'd never show her my mug again. Or to never show her my mug again. And yet, it's not even funny to think we'd reunite in this place. Me and him are total strangers at this point. I didn't want Kana and the rest being scared of me because of this guy. So when he woke up, I told him to hide our relation. Right after you went in to look for Nal. So that's it. Humph. I'm a simple murderer. But Reko is different. She's good and a proper person. That's all I wanted to say. Dang it all. So you deny any connection with the kidnappers? Right. Why was I brought here? I still don't know. Mwahaha. Suppose I can't expect trust or anything else, can I? It's just the ramblings of a killer. Ha 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 ha. Despite us talking about Gein, I've got some unexpected information there. There are still many more points of interest, but there's no time. I want to hear Nao's justification soon enough. What do you think? Eh? Me? That's fine, right, Miss Sarah? There's still something. We don't have time to resolve every question. Other than Reconalis, what has me curious is, I think names and occupations, because KG. Megumi Sasahara, detective. Yeah, KG. KG? What a surprise. Didn't think there'd be another detective here, besides everyone's favorite. As always, KG seems to be insisting that he's a detective too. And I have no proof to deny it. I wonder if I could have had proof. No helping it. We should move to the next topic. I wish I had proof. Well then, Miss Nao, please give us your justification. I see a lot that's illogical about Nao's actions. Illogical, eh? Aren't you curious what she was up to in the kitchen holding the box with Mishima? Mishima? Tell me, what were you doing then, Miss Nao? Because of the body collection announcement, I went into a panic. I took the box and just sat and hid in the kitchen. I didn't even touch anything in the room. I know I troubled you all a lot, but I didn't want to lose him. After everyone else, I inspected the kitchen and found no signs of any trickery. Perhaps she truly was just hiding. Did you really not touch anything? Huh? The kitchen has been locked until then. And after you left now, you, we obtained this long, narrow box. There was nothing inside. Only now could have taken the knife out of it. I, I don't know anything about that. Hold on, when and how did now find the key to the kitchen anyway? It was open. Eh? The kitchen door was unlocked at the time. So I ran in and locked it from the inside. Then somebody else went in first, meow. That's who took the knife, woof. First, I carried Alice over to the pink room. At the time, someone dug through the kitchen, took the knife, and left. Finally, Nao went into the kitchen with the box and locked herself in. Does the timing work out? Hmm, maybe that's logical. It's super sketchy, though. It, it's not sketchy in the least. I'll tell you anything. Well then, Miss Nao, tell us what you were doing in the kitchen. The whole time, I just sat and held the profess the box. I didn't move an inch. Well, guess you'll just have to break the ice, Sarah. Yeah, I need to ask her about that. If she never let it go, then I wonder why the box was empty. We'll just have to ask her. So you're lying, huh, now? 
What? There was nothing in the box. Nothing at all. What? That, that can't be right. It's true, no. What's that? I don't know anything. The professor was with me the whole time. Where did he go? Huh. Is this an act? No, ain't that kind of gal. There's got to be a reason it vanished. The mystery of the vanishing head. If now is just acting, then... Can't really put together why she'd need to lie to us here. What's going on? I don't understand. I certainly lost sight of myself, but I've done nothing suspicious, and I don't know why it disappeared. Now respected Professor Mishima. Maybe her shock was so great that she unconsciously did something strange. What would she do with the head? <laughs> uh, it must have gotten swapped at some point with another box the crit kidnappers prepared. The contents of the box warped me out like dimensional teleporting thing. Woof, no. Miss now being manipulated by the kidnappers. Is that a possibility? No, I'm a little curious. Huh? Maybe if I'd gotten... Maybe I've got a rough disposition, but why didn't you think about looking for the culprit? I mean, it wasn't an accident. That happened to someone you respected because he was voted for. Ain't it more natural to get angry? I, I don't think so at all. Since I knew no one's votes had any ill will, maybe you didn't respect him? What are you? Maybe Miss Now and Professor Mishima didn't have any bond at all. Then I could understand her mindset of not seeking out the culprit. How awful. You're awful, just awful. I truly did. Sarah, what do you think? I think, I think their bond's real. Those two seem to have a great relationship. I can't point to some logical proof. There was just something about it. Now being distraught couldn't be an act. And yes, there must be some reason for the professor's disappearing head. The collar. Uh, suppose Miss Now didn't stick Professor Mishima in the box out of affection for him. Rather, maybe her objective was to retrieve the collar on his neck. In other words, information that Miley failed to retrieve. You trying to say now collected the collar in place of the kidnappers? Dunno, however, I should note your friendly policeman wasn't able to investigate that collar cause now was there. Hey hey, you being serious? What 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 are you talking about? I don't know, I don't know anything. Please just stop it. Then tell us why you didn't care who the culprit was after the vote. Cause Professor Mishima was killed by the people who voted for him. You stop right there, Joe. Stop it. Don't say another word. I'm begging you. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. What? I overheard all of it. It was just before the vote. Mishima said something, quiet enough that only somebody real close could hear. Miss Now, Miss Now, let us vo vote for each other, Miss Now. He said that? Thinking the vote was just a test, I'm sure Now voted for Mishima like he asked. But Mishima voted for himself. Oh, oh, I like him even more. To protect his student just in case. <laughs> oh, that's why now didn't look for the culprit. Don't bring up any ill will crap because it doesn't matter. His death was an accident. No. I, uh, if I, I hadn't voted for him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry now. All this time I'd been thinking whoever voted for another person must have had bad intentions. Just because I voted for myself. Wait a minute. Joe only had one vote. And so said he voted for Joe. So didn't vote for Joe. Why? This is so confusing. There's just like, there's no. Oh. What? Wait, Joe, you voted for yourself? Huh? Yeah. So didn't you tell me you voted for Joe? No way, I didn't say anything like that. So is a liar. Liar, liar, liar. What, what's this about, So? Ah, don't worry about it, everybody. Miss Sarah asked me who I voted for, and I just told her whatever. She's so diligent, she must have taken it seriously. This, this guy. He's a huge liar. Yeah, I knew that. That's why he's in the intro. So ultimately, we're going to ignore the missing head. 
That's still a big mystery, but it seems like now did nothing wrong, least. Maybe Reko had the right idea. It got swapped out at some point. Just discussing it's pointless, Woof. Let's talk about that gorilla next, Meow. For real? You okay ignoring it, Sarah? Um, no, I'm still curious. Oh, why is he so creepy? Why is he so creepy looking? Seems only Miss Sarah has any sense. Hey guys, you're never going to solve anything like this. But, but I think it's wonderful you can trust each other this much after just meeting, you know? But, well, bad people always feign innocence. Like you! You trying to say now is a bad person? I just remembered something. Yeah, just remembered. That Miss Now is the one who attacked me. Why is this game so confusing? I have no idea what's going on. Oh my gosh. What? That was a close one. If I hadn't remembered that, she could have gotten away clean. Is this true or is this a lie? Should I shut his mouth or should I question her? She had a pretty shocked look on her face. I'm going to question her. I, I... That's wrong. I'll hear out anything, Miss Now. Now is your only chance to tell the truth. If we're going to argue until one of us loses trust, I'll have to do my best too. Tell me, do you have that courage? I... I did. Hit so. For real? You're joking, right? Why now? I was threatened. By who? Kai. This is just, I feel like soap opera. Kai threatened me to strike So in the head. I mean, Kai hit Miley and So's kind of evil, so. I remember now, Kai said he'd defend me on the condition that I retrieved the laptop. You ought to remember the important part first. She lost herself enough to knock a dude out. Of course her memory is going to be fuzzy. Uh, I'm sorry, but now I remember it clearly. Do you understand, Miss Now? <gasps> He's so scary looking. Please retrieve the laptop from So in the hidden room. He's like threatening her with a knife? Oh my gosh. His eyes are crazy looking. I, I can't. If he sees me, he'll call for Sarah. Then you may borrow my frying pan. I thought he got hit in the head with the frying pan. Approach from behind, understand? Don't worry, your strength is such that even a forceful whack with this will not kill. But if you refuse, I will hand this key to someone else. That's... Please, Miss Now, I am the only one who will be in trouble if I do not get that laptop. Miss Sarah will be as well. Sarah? But that was all a lie, wasn't it? Kai didn't keep his promise. Kai must be the one who took the professor away. Might not necessarily be a lie, actually. Huh? The laptop is password locked. Considering that, why do you think Kai would be so serious about taking it? Because there's actually a more laughable reason. The password was easily guessable. Wait, if you know that, you unlocked it? Of course. What? Didn't you say you couldn't see anything? Yeah, but that was a lie. You're always lying. Another, another lie? See, the password was Chidoan. Huh? It's Chidoan? What a bizarre lie. Sorry to say, but it's true. I tried typing in everyone's names. And my last attempt was trustworthy Miss Sarah's last name, Chidoan. Imagine my shock. I, I've never seen this laptop in my life. Of course, I know this isn't your laptop, Miss Sarah. Then it's Kai's, isn't it? You read the emails? So you admit it. What in the world is this? I wanted to read them all, but only if Miss Now hadn't whacked me. Ugh. Well now, what did they say? I remember them well. As planned, 17 people have been secured, that's what it said. Oh dear. Uh-huh. Er, how strange. 
What's the matter, everybody? Think calmly now. Look, Kai and Nao's actions were proven. Now hit me, made a big bump even. Doubting me now is, it's illogical. This is just weird. Why does everyone believe Miss Sarah? Because you're sketchy. So that's why everyone believes me. Hmm, how pitiful. It seems the difference in trust between you is the difference between heaven and earth. What the heck? Open your eyes, everybody. I'm, I'm telling you what's right. Corner him. Oh wait, should I offer him a helping hand or should I corner him? Corner him. Corner him. So you're a liar. Actions and behavior are what build trust. No one will believe the words of a liar. So would you please shut up? Oh, I made him cry a little bit. Enough. <gasps> oh, he's scary looking. Ha 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 ha. Amazing, Miss Sarah. You're a prodigy at seizing people's hearts. Shameful, the rest of you, you r the riffraff. Don't you value your lives? Don't you doubt when others are kind? Do you not even have brains to think for yourselves? Death is just a matter of time for you. That's the way weaklings live. Ha 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 ha. I do not like the way he acts when he's cornered. What the heck's happened to you? I've given up on all you incompetence. Worthless, every one of you. The loner snapped, meow. I'm scared, woof. I can't count on any of you anymore. Miss Sarah, let's talk it out ourselves. This is the fastest way, ha 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 ha. He looks crazy. Well, I messed that up really bad. Enough. Could you calm down for a second? Ugh, I refuted most of his remarks. Why does he look so unperturbed? Oh no. Seems like everyone's just plain unsure what's right anymore. Suspicion and unpleasant air swirls around us. I failed! I failed real bad. So, this is because of you. Get a grip, everybody. Doubting Sarah just isn't right. You want us all to be killed off? Hey, what do you think would be worst for you? If a guy like me with no trust were a traitor, no, that can't be it. It'd be if Miss Sarah was your enemy, right? Now see here. Yes, yes, your attention, please. Ehe, sorry to intrude while you're getting all fired up. It's nearly time for the preliminary vote. What? Wait, at a time like this? The heck do we do? We've got no conclusions. How are we going to vote without any regrets? What can I say now? I'm the key master. You are. Meow? If I let this chance go, I'll never have a chance to say it. Should have said that sooner. Saying that now just makes you more suspicious, you know? Even so, I'm saying it. So, I won't be beaten by you. Sheesh, let's do the vote already. And now, it's your turn to die, Miss Sarah. Yes, I'm voting for him. Ooh. I got two votes. Joe got two. Kana got two. So got three, and Kai got three. Fear is welling up inside me. Hee hee hee, what do you think of the results? Five will proceed to the final vote. Kana Kizuchi. Kai Sato. Joe Tazuna. Why, why me? So Hiyori. I see. Sarah Chidoen will die. One of us five will with certainty. I don't want to die. Am, am I safe? You're, you're kidding me. Me too? Woohoo! Dummies, it's the next part that's seriously bad. Our votes will decide our fates. Do, do we have to choose? Big sis Sarah. Why me? I've tried so hard. And not just for myself. It was so everyone could escape. So why? I don't want to die. I don't. Get a grip, Sarah. 
Erm, I mean, hey now, Sarah. Your friendly policeman with ya. KG. Listen, everybody, we need to narrow it down to just one person. Forget your sympathy and your grudges, just remember the roles. If we choose the Keymaster or sacrifice, we all die. Yes, indeed. We're far from safe at all, absolutely. Oh, hey, one of us is a sage? If we've got a sage on our side, they'll know who's the keys master. Don't tell me there isn't, meow. This is the worst, so it'll be one of the five? Nothing to be done, there's only one course of action. Have the five prove it with words, isn't that right, Sarah? Yes, I have no other choice, exactly. I'll prove to you who the real key master is. Good. Remember people's words and actions in discussion. That's where the path to victory lies. Hee hee hee, the final 20 minutes. Please use this endlessly short time effectively. I'll be praying you don't all perish. Ah ha ha. Joe was the sage, everybody. Ah. Joe saw Sarah was the key master. That's why he was convinced of a massacre. Of course, it's just a strong possibility, but can you refute it? I... I guess I can't keep a secret after all. Joe, wait. This is awful. Well, why? But you aren't giving up yet, are you? Of course not. Everybody, you gotta promise me. What do you mean? I'm the sage. I did a divination, but I hadn't clearly said what the result was. Because the sage can't lie about the results. I'm going to say who the key master is. In exchange, I want you to not vote for me. I'm on board. Now tell us their name. Their name is... Joe? Why do I feel so uneasy? Sarah, of course. Joe. Alright, now we look for the sacrifice between So, Kana, and Kai. Um, I'm the sage. Meow? My reading was that So was the key master. Hey, hey! No, 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 I'm the sage. Miss Sarah was the key master. My head is spinning, woof. Eehee, eight minutes to go, everyone, ah ha ha. Okay, quit giving statements, you five. We're going to discuss amongst ourselves first. Hurry, we've got no time. Alright, I'm at the, the final vote. We're just about to finish it up, but it is also very, very late. So I'm going to leave off here and we'll get the thrilling conclusion at the beginning of the next part. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.